very interesting uh, segment of our general study that is geography whatever things is there in geography basically we can experience all such thing very easily welcome dear students i am kanaiya jha and i will provide you a discussion on the very interesting topic very interesting uh, segment of our general study that is geography you all know geography is one of the subject that is very related with our daily life and it basically result of our uh, our climate our whatever things is there in geography basically we can experience all such thing very easily uh, if we recognize our changing atmosphere changing weather and all such thing it is again very interesting since all such factors all such information we can visualize and again the subject geography is one of the scientific subject of humanitarian uh, stream humanitarian domain okay so with this word i would like to start this discussion first of all you can see whatever things is there like suppose one see the bhavar plate so you can see we can easily get the idea we can easily identify the region if we have a such interesting pictures of that again if someone sees that mountain peak himalaya or everest we with this picture we can analyze very easily so a uh, geography must be a subject that is result of our visual understanding our experience now uh, as far as upsc is concerned so i would like to uh first discuss the nature and scope of this subject you know very well geography comprises geography holds a very vital segment vital portion in our prelims examination as well as in mains examination we cover all such uh one by one the fact as far as prelims examination is concerned so you know that our general study paper 1 that decides our qualification and disqualification of prelims examination basically uh, geography comprises on uh, geography comes under the segment of general study paper 1 and we can find every year about 10 to 15 question uh, from geography very interesting fact with geography is that if we are able to articulate the idea grasp the idea of geography uh then we we can easily solve related topics the related segment of our prelims examination like you can consider here for example it is uh, environment ecology so if you have a better understanding of this subject geography you can easily handle the question of biodiversity if suppose some conceptual aspect has been asked by the examiner so here in geography we have three different area that we can classify the first portion of geography or question uh, comes from the area i can say that uh, it a mapping portion map comprises a very a vast segment of our geography particularly for prelims thereafter question come from world geography and the geography of india as far as the map is concerned so we discuss that but we should first cover syllabus so look for prelims examination upsc provide us just a glance of this subject no such detail you can find with your syllabus in your syllabus upsc says that in geography india and world geography you have to read physical social and economic geography of india and the world but the fact is that it is very we can say closed topic very uh, we can say just a passing passing reference it is no such detail no such prescription is there so we should read the geography 
for prelims by dividing it three major portion three major segment that is map world geography and the indian geography indian geography in map segment we have to read two different kind of map that is physical map and political map political and physical i will provide you some questions related with map map becomes a very vital topic for prelims examination every year you can find two or three question particularly related with the uh, study of map so it is an unavoidable segment of our uh, geography while world world geography comprises four or five major segment that is the geomorphology that is our climatology that is our oceanography and the last one is our bio geography while in indian part we have to cover about 12 or 13 topic related with physiographic regions soil uh, climate even drainage system even uh, natural vegetation industries minerals agriculture transport irrigation etc are the part of our indian geography now if we cover all such topic we can easily handle previous uh, handle the questions come in upsc examination for example i have uh, take i have took some uh, questions related with all this subject these are of geography question asked during previous year like you can see the first question is here consider the following pairs mekong andaman sea thames iris sea volga caspian sea zambezi indian ocean now here it require knowledge of particular river and their mouth as well as it require our reasoning ability that will make us comfortable while dealing with options means the elimination effort elimination strength suppose mekong river so you know that mekong river drains into south china sea this way if mekong river drains into south china sea then andaman sea is an incorrect option so we have to find the number 1 and it is under a and b options so both a and b is incorrect thereafter came thames iris sea so where iris sea is iris sea is a very a uh, very small part of ocean located between the united kingdom and the ireland while the thames river we know that the london is located on the bank of thames river and it drains into english channel so it must not be the answer again so we can say the option 2 is also incorrect and find the option 2 means both uh, a and d will not be the answer thereafter zambezi where zambezi uh, zambezi drains the outflow of zambezi we know that is this way it flow is indian ocean part of indian ocean it is mozambic channel so this four is correct four is only here it means option c is correct without even evaluating option c we can with our this reasoning ability identify the answer if we have proper knowledge of this so river is a very significant part again here you can see questions related with the afghanistan so wherever some dispute some kind of a problem or issue and it comes in news in that way upsc uh, definitely ask question on that topic you know very well afghanistan was in chaos what was in turmoil due to taliban outfit and taliban occupied the afghanistan uh, afghanistan government uh, during last year so that why that's why this question came and it a very basic thing here uh, which country 
which consider the following which country azerbaijan kyrgyzstan tajikistan turkmenistan shares boundary with afghanistan by uh, by by seeing the map we can easily say that no kyrgyzstan is not there option 2 is incorrect only identifying this fact we can say c is correct so this way we can handle map if we have overall idea of map it require basically a particular study of map you should cover your map uh, with two or three different sources the very a uh, very very a uh, common source of uh, preparing map is atlas each and every student prefer to read atlas and the atlas i suggest always is oxford student atlas oxford student atlas so must purchase this book to cover your map related queries now come to the world geography what kind of question upsc ask during prelims in prelims examination so you can see some questions are from the traditional topic like jet stream cyclone so what is the thing here that sometimes two or more topic merges with each other and upsc creates a very dynamic question for a student if we are aware with the concept jet stream or cyclone we can cover this question is of indian part again in india what i said that drainage system is one of the significant part so uh, you can see uh, consider the following a river and which ever of the river rises to eastern ghat that is naga veli suvarna rekha vams dhara and brahmani so we can solve this if we have idea about suppose river this is the suvarna rekha so suvarna rekha river rises from chhota nagpur region we all know and our tisco is located on the bank of the suvarna rekha so with this fact we can say that no it is not rises from the western ghat that is why option c and d is incorrect as far as one or two a b correct so now cover vams dhara and nagavini 2 and 4 and brahmani brahmani is the river that is here in odisha and it originates it comes when two river that is the sankh and the koyal river merges with each other brahmani forms it again originates from chhota nagpur region so option 2 and 4 that is b is correct so this way what i providing you idea that if you are aware with the basic fact you can handle questions very easily like Ga like gandhi kota canyon here so what is canyon you can see it is an area it is a flow course of river that surrounded by on three sides the steep mountain or plateau so this way it is the pennar river and pennar river passes through this canyon now as far as mains is concerned so you know very well mains is the examination where we have to answer uh, in a descriptive form it would be about 150 word answer or about 250 words answer so like here Uh, this question was in previous year that account for variations in ocean salinity and discuss it multidimensional effects so this question not only require understanding of the concept of salinity but also it require the factor that control the variation of ocean salinity again the impact is here so what is interesting here UPSC always care for the impact if we are not able to identify the multidimensional impact of geographical incident or factor we would not be able to uh, write a very good answer so for that questions for that segment we must have to uh, manage the both aspect of our question separately so in this kind of question you should try to maintain your format in the way that both part must be covered now similarly 
what characteristics can be assigned to monsoon climate we all know there is a seasonal rainfall about 80% rainfall occurs during the monsoon season there is a reversal of wind system sometime winds flow from southwest direction sometime it from northeast direction so these are monsoon rainfall sometime brusk sometime there is a, a is a short span of dry days so all are the feature of monsoon season and this question is looking for that similarly petroleum refinery are not necessarily located near the crude oil production area so we all know that like jamnagar refinery of india jamnagar in gujarat and it is located far beyond the petroleum region we export petroleum from our uh, uh, gulf regions and thereafter it being filtered it being refined at jamnagar so why this is there this is because of uh because of economy because of cost saving mechanism and utilization of petroleum products product products so what is here interesting with mains examination upsc provides us again a very short syllabus for mains examination like here this is the syllabus of mains examination uh, geography you know very well gs is divided into four segment gs 1 2 3 and 4 so geography uh, explicitly mentioned in the segment general study paper 1 here upsc says that upsc says that you have to cover the distribution of major natural resources water soil forest in reference of south and southeast asia and with respect of india silent feature of physical geography like earthquake tsunami volcanic activity cyclone ocean current wind and glaciers thereafter ocean resource of india and their potential the fact is that it is not a complete syllabus rather again we can say it is just a glance of our geography so why how should we cover uh, how should we cover the geography so for that i will provide you the detailed syllabus uh prior to that i would like to share one more interesting thing with geography that if you are able to cover this geography uh in depth then you can handle the area like uh, gs paper uh 2 and gs paper 3 more efficiently like you know uh india and their neighborhood country so neighborhood country the location of neighborhood country decides the geo political importance of that country if we are able to identify the geopolitical importance suppose of sri lanka of maldive of suppose afghanistan then we can easily uh, make our answers again gs paper 3 environment ecology disaster management international security so if disaster suppose landslide in himalaya why it become very frequent so the reason behind it is quite obvious himalaya we all know that a result of conversion of uh the indian plate subduction of indian plate under eurasian plate so it is the zone of tectonic activities when tectonic activities is there then it is obvious that there is some uh some seismic activities some uh some movement under the surface and again as himalaya is a result of upliftment of the sediment of our tethys sea that it is very loose in their construction the constituent of himalaya is not as our peninsular india holds so that is why it reach this region becomes prone for landslide and this become very uh, pre frequent in that region again environment ecology you know very well the environment ecology in the environment ecology you know very well the equatorial region means a uh, 5 degree north to 5 degree south of this equator equatorial region is known for very rich biodiversity why this is rich biodiversity the rich biodiversity found near equatorial region the obvious region 
for this rich biodiversity is the sunlight is the solar insulation insulation we know that this region is known for vertical solar rays vertical solar rays fall over the equatorial region throughout the year it provide sufficient amount of heat and energy that led to formation of a very thick uh, clouds and this cloud particularly cumulonimbus cloud uh, yields sufficient amount of rainfall and rainfall further supports the development of a species plant and that is why it is a rich zone of biodiversity so this way we can handle our other subject if we have the idea understanding of our geography now in short i provide you the glance what we should uh, read in this paper geography that is uh, in world geography we have to cover four or five topic particularly that is in geomorphology universe origin of earth movement of earth time zone etc even volcano earthquake landslide climatology we should cover atmospheric structure temperature inversion jet stream cyclone anti cyclone in oceanography we have to cover uh, like uh, oceanic feature like sea floor spreading coral reef and coral bleaching tide ocean salinity and map it should require a it is it require a particular a specific study while in indian geography we have to cover about 11 to 12 topic that is the location and extent physiographic region of india drainage system climate soil natural vegetation mineral industry and what so what ever so this way we can cover the entire geography and as far as the source is concerned which source we should prefer for our geographical studies so i suggest you you should follow two or three uh, sources for your geography as far as sources is concerned so you should cover your ncert books in detail particularly class 11 and class 12 book for geography is very fundamental along with that you can uh, cover geography through the atlas that is oxford student atlas besides that the class and their content will uh, manage your overall preparation okay so this way we can handle geography and it is one of the most interesting subject of our uh, our uh, syllabus our study of upsc we cover this in form of this uh, uh, we cover this in this way that we can handle all such area that is very uh, frequent that is very trendy in our examination so with this word i am ending this lecture thank you